hanging out in Salt Lake City again today. I've brought you here before, but last time it was just, well, truthfully, it was just a cheeseburger video because I, I wanted to say hi. I wanted to post something. This time, it's a little bit different. Okay, I won't spend a lot of time here, but I think if you come to Salt Lake City, you should see Temple Square. Just, if nothing else, just for the sheer amount of work that has gone into this place, the architecture, these are amazing cathedrals, and I've got something really beautiful to show you towards the end of this video, gold-related, but I think, I think you will appreciate this. <laughs> super friendly and helpful. They don't want to be on camera, but these two young ladies just gave me the, the 30 second tour of everything I should should show you. And they said there's an organ, and I've heard about this organ that um, we should go see. So I was talking to my friend Ken the other day. Uh, he's a prospector in California, also an avocado grower, man of many talents. And he was asking me about the Eagle's Nest gold mine and if I had any pieces currently from the Eagle's Nest gold mine. And I said, yes, Ken, I do. I will make a video and share a piece of gold with you from the Eagle's Nest gold mine. And I thought, why don't I just take it with me? It was like this epiphany moment I had. Just take the piece of gold with you to Salt Lake City. Put it in your bag and maybe Ken's not the only one that wants to see it. Maybe you'd like to see it too. So I have with me the best piece of gold from this mine that I've ever held. It's actually been in a museum before. I'll talk about that. And it's funny. This entire mall is closed. Sunday. Kind of makes sense, I guess. Kind of makes sense. Everyone needs to have a day off and, you know, uh, they're keeping it holy to remember remember that day. Uh, I'm learning. I'm learning. Just hope, they, uh, just hope I can get a cup of coffee. My friend Jordan texted me the other day, happy 4th of July, happy 4th of July, late Jordan. But uh, you asked a question, is a new Pater coming out? For the Pater crowd that watches this vlog, yes, there is a new Pater. Actually, another one just popped in my head last week. I was said I wouldn't do it, but I'm gonna do it. And it's a half gram bag, a half gram bag. I was watching Dylan Miller, Miller Prospecting. He does a Tuesday night panning. And it was hint, hint, some more sellers should try and do a bag that's half gram, less expensive, because gold is getting, gold's getting pretty expensive. We're, you know, over 60 bucks, over 60 bucks a gram. So that's coming. It's actually coming very, very soon. And another little surprise coming. Another thing I said I would never, ever do, but we, we decided to do it. So that's coming. That's all I'm gonna tell you. You gotta wait. 
until next week, two weeks, two weeks from now. I promise in two weeks, by two weeks from now, I'll have that out. What's going on? It just got incredibly busy around here. There was nobody, it was peaceful and quiet. And then all of a sudden, boom. They just keep coming too. Something happened. And I think we'll conclude the tour now of Salt Lake City because I still have one really, really cool thing to show you. It's back at the hotel though, because I don't walk around with gold. Back to the hotel. Okay, I know it's kind of strange to do a hotel room tour and I don't think we'll do a lot of hotel room tours on this channel, but there's something in this hotel room, it's just, it's a good thing, it's a good thing. Um, let me just, let's, I'll show it to you. Okay, fairly uh, normal hotel room, nothing nothing really interesting there. Uh, lamps, bed, good night, great morning. Chair, lamps, desk area, lamp over here, nice view, TV, coffee maker, even a little, Little mini fridge, nothing in there. Mini fridge there. But then there's something else. It's this pole. This pole, what is this? This pole, it's for exercising. They've built this in, bolted it in, floor to ceiling. Exercise. And then, if that wasn't enough, more exercise equipment. You got this ball and a yoga mat. It could work out, does wonders. This has to be like atonement for the cheeseburger. This is like, Mike, you went and had the cheeseburger. Now start figuring out how all this equipment works. Maybe uh, maybe someday, but enough, enough about that. I've humored you, I've talked way too much, talked too long. What I really wanted to show you is right here in this bag. good camera, the, the macro lens, so I can get really up close and personal and really just show you how beautiful this piece of gold is from Eagle's Nest Mine in California. So what sets Eagle's Nest Gold apart and what really makes it some of the most prized gold in the world. It's, well, really it's two things. The first would be the luster. This super bright mirror-like finish. You can just see it as it dances in the light. These beautiful mirror faces on all of this crystallized gold. It's truly impressive as a lot of this, this is how it came out of the ground. This mirror finish just sitting there in the quartz. The other thing that really sets it apart is this crystallization, this beautiful, very distinct to the Eagle's Nest mine. You could put 20 pieces of gold in front of me and I would be able to pick this piece out as being from the Eagle's Nest gold mine in California. Just beautiful crystallization throughout the entire piece with the bottom half being sort of this beautiful, somewhat unorganized layering of crystallized leaf gold and then it kind of gives way and branches out at the top. And there's these overlapping thick wires that crisscross each other. Just a really beautiful aesthetic and wonderful piece of gold. Okay, I think that did it. I think this camera, kind of a makeshift background here, but I think it worked. I think it worked really well. It doesn't really matter. There's a macro lens. It's getting up super close so you can see the gold up close, but I'm going to keep doing this. I think I'm going to do it more. I'm having a lot of fun with this vlog. It's always, you know, what's, what's rattling around up here in Mike's head for the week, traveling a lot, and that shouldn't affect the vlog. I should still be able to show you beautiful pieces of gold like this one here. So I'm going to leave it there. Lots coming in the future. Appreciate you watching. If you haven't, if you haven't, you should like, subscribe, thumbs up, 
yeah, all that stuff down there, please do that. Helps me out tremendously and appreciate you. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.